As expected, post-tropical storm Debbie left large amounts of water in its wake as the greater Montreal area received a record amount of rain with an accumulation of 150 millimeters in the space of 24 hours, according to Environment and Climate Change Canada. The amount far exceeded the 94 millimeters of rain, on average, normally recorded during the entire month of August in the Montreal region. Holy crap! On social media, many people reported flooding in their homes in the St. Laurent borough, Beaconsfield and Dollar Days Ormos Civic Center took on several inches of water. The remains of Debbie also caused a lot of trouble in Quebec. What the actual go, go, go. fuck? <laughs> oh, you crazy motherfucker. Yo, his bumper's fucked, you see? He crashed his bumper. Post-tropical storm Debbie hit much of southern Quebec, causing numerous power outages in several regions because of breakdowns caused by strong wind gusts. At 11 a.m. Saturday, some 105,000 households were without power, mainly in the greater Montreal area, Monterigee, Estuary, and Chaudière appalaches Hydro-Quebec reported on its online power outages map. It should be noted some customers are in a flood situation and cannot be restored at this point. We are mobilizing all available teams to restore service as quickly as possible. Where possible, we are giving restoration times to the best of our knowledge at this stage, but these times may vary greatly depending on the damage observed and the nature of the work required to restore electricity service. Outages affected up to 550,000 customers during torrential rains Friday evening. A boil water advisory was issued Saturday for the towns of Boucherville, St. Bruno de Monteville, for the borough of St. Hubert, and part of the borough of Vieux Longueil, in Longueil, because of a drop in water pressure following a breakdown caused by the electrical failure. Tap water should be boiled at a rolling boil for at least one minute before consuming it. Motorists also found themselves stuck in their vehicles, visibly taken by surprise by large quantities of water on the road, even in residential areas. Motorists also remain stuck on highways 13, 15, and 40, while several sections of highways were closed in the greater Montreal region. This is the case for Highway 13 North in Montreal, near Louis A. Amos, because of flooding. Highway 13 was still closed between Sampson and Claireau BLVDS, northbound in Laval, at 2 a.m. Saturday morning. There were also reports of closings of Highway 25 in Montreal Exit 3, Notre Dame Street, southbound, and at the Mill Isles River, in both directions, in Terrebonne, at around 8.20 p.m.